bringing out the stock of my pineapple then trying to bring out the rough edges or the rough surface it has now as an artist you can choose your posture you can decide to sit down while painting if you're convenient sitting down and you can also decide to stand up it all depends on how convenient you are or your, your choice as you can see I'm standing to paint So remind you this part will be very dark because it's all inside, it's right inside the basket. So the shaded part here will be very dark. So it's, it's assumed to be the darkest tone. Then you have the light, the middle tone and the lightest tone here. all with the same color or you can also make you can also show your lightest tone with the use of a lighter color that means if you don't want to use the same color to show your tonal gradations you can use the lightest you can use the light color to show your uh, uh, like your, your tonal gradation, just like we have here, I just use one color, okay, to show the tonal gradations, the darkest tone, the middle tone, and the lightest tone. So we move on. All right, it's just as if I should pick out the apple, pineapple from here, and start eating. Okay. So let's move on. I'm trying to bring out the outlines of all the fruit we have here and also to show their tonal gradation. This is a fruit, this is a fruit, this is an apple too. Mind you, this part will be very dark too because it's inside the fruit, so inside the fruit basket, so it will be very dark up to this area and then up to this area okay now just imagine and, and try to recall how we started painting this particular image you can see all these fruits it's just as if you should pick them up and begin to what and begin to eat them. They are called edible fruits. Okay. Now this is our orange. Now mind you, this part will be very dark too because it's like inside inside the basket, just like we did for the other part. This part also will be very dark. Very dark. And you show your tonal gradation. Just as I have done here. Normally someone will ask me the basket is always brown. How come my whole basket is yellow? Alright. Now I'll show you that the brown is coming off now. Now I have my brown paint here. Okay. And I've already washed my brush before I dipped it inside. So all I need to do is get my outline here. And my basket.
Mind you, the basket is standing on something. It's not just standing in the air. So you have to show that the basket is either standing, is either, is, is either sitting on, a, on the floor, or the basket is on something. Right now, the basket is on the floor, as you can see. So the basket will always cast a shadow. This is what I'm trying to show here. So I'm bringing out the shape of the basket. It all depends on how creative you want to be. You might not do your own design like this. Your own design might be more beautiful than this. But be creative. As you can see, the basket is coming up gradually. Basket is coming out gradually. Basket is coming out gradually. Okay, we're almost coming to the end of this class. Alright, we still have a fruit here yet unpainted. Some of you are wondering what kind of fruit is this? Some of you are wondering what kind of fruit is this? This is also an orange fruit. You know, orange comes in different shades. Okay? Now, let's make this particular shade of orange. Let's make it a little bit, a little bit darker than the previous, than the former one we, than the previous one we had. Okay, have something like that. Trying to bring out the shape of those fruits. Okay, I think with this been able to achieve something drawing and also painting fruits call it a fruit basket just like the one I showed you earlier on that's exactly what we have just done here okay the fruits basket okay is what we have painted today you can pick up your painting from the from the base that you have fastened it onto okay this is what we have done today just like i told you earlier on the purpose of this painting will serve beautification purposes that means you use to decorate your house it can also be in a kitchen or in a dining room where you eat and you see every blessed day just as a way of reminding us what we have just done today you might remember i told you i said painting is the art of applying colors on our drawing can either be an object or on a particular image. I told you earlier on also, I said 
painting is just like drawing okay where you have to use your colors to paint whereas in drawing you use your pencils your pen to do what to shade okay just like we have done here we drew our object onto onto our, our surface we have different types of painting we have the nature painting still life painting we have uh, seascape and landscape painting we have imaginative painting it all depends on what the artist wants to achieve at the end of the day but what we focus on today is nature painting that means painting of things god created okay things like animals fruits trees leaves and the likes of them so today we chose to paint out a fruit basket which i've guided you through from the beginning to the end so i will give an assignment to do the same at home paint out a fruit basket you can have a live fruit placed in front of you arrange creatively then try to sketch it out on your cardboard paper then using the same method i've taught you today to do the same thing in our next class we'll be looking at how we can do we can paint do a still life painting till then remain blessed god bless you